Hey Sagittarius, welcome back guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you. What do you need to know, Sagittarius? Guys, please keep in mind that these are timeless reading. There is no timelines in my reading. So whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. Universe. Okay, Four of Pentacles. What is the overall energy here for Sagittarius Universe? What is going on with them? What are you holding back from, Sag? You got the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords. Temperance. Sagittarius, I feel like you're holding on to something that has caused you a lot of conflict in the past. And I'm really hearing like you got to let it go. You got to let it go because you got to be able to get into this temperance energy where you can have some form of equal give and take. Four of Pentacles energy, Nine of Swords energy. People could have very well put you in very conflicting negative energies. And you're still holding on to those thoughts and to their actions. But the temperance here is you're being told very specifically to let those things go already. They no longer serve a purpose for you. What is this overall energy here? The hermit. I feel like you've been in this place where you've been keeping a lot of these emotions bottled up. And every time you think of someone or someone comes towards you. It just causes you to be very angry and resentful. And with this hermit energy, it's like you're just isolating yourself and not really seeing much of what's going on. Ten of Swords energy, this is this is over with. It's over with. That situation with that person is a done deal. I feel like the only reason why it's lingering for you, Sagittarius, is because you're holding on to it. Probably, probably, probably mentally. But definitely emotionally, I feel. What is this overall energy here for Sagittarius? What is going on with them, universe? What do they need to know? Eight of Swords, Sag, you're really, really, really stuck in your head about something. I feel like you can't seem to let go of the betrayal from someone in your past. I feel like whoever it is that betrayed you in the past, this person hurt you on a level that is undescribable. Like it is way easy for me to say, oh, just forgive and forget, let it go, don't don't eat. But you, it, that's gonna be very difficult because I feel like you have a lot of resentment and anger towards this person. You're definitely going through a painful ending right now. And this situation is really causing you a lot of conflict, but you are being told that there is going to be some resolution behind this. You will obtain your peace, harmony, and balance. But you also have to start working on letting this go. What is this overall energy here, universe? What is it that Sagittarius needs to know? The high priestess. Trust the process. Trust the fact that everything that has happened happens for a higher good. It happens for a reason. People that are meant to leave your life, sometimes they have to be forced out of it. So that's why certain situations have occurred. And it may seem hard at the given moment, but you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel with the Ace of Swords energy. So trust this process that everything that is happening for you is happening in divine protection. Ace of Swords energy, you are seeing a truth of a situation and every time you continuously get clarity regarding the truth of a situation, it does become like you're reliving the past again, but you got to let it go already. There's something here that needs to be completely cut out of your life already because it is causing you a lot of mental confliction. What is this overall energy here for Sagittarius universe? What do they need to know? Three of Pentacles energy. What is this Three of Pentacles for them? the magician work on your manifestations work on the power of bringing in something new to your life i do feel like whatever it is that you dealt with in the past it's done it's just time for you to heal from that but at the same time work on your manifestations you have a lot of a lot of manifestations or a lot of dreams that you want to come towards you you just got to be open and receptive to them. There is a new situation also coming in, Two of Cups energy. You're going to be able to manifest somebody new in your life, but you got to let go of this past already. In order for you to be able to move on to something more beautiful, more abundant, more stable, 
It's time to close out that past cycle and let that person go. You know, ultimately, at the end of the day, karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. So that person will get his or her karma. You just got to be able to walk away from that. Get out of your mindset, hangman energy. Stop overthinking what this person did or what they're currently doing because your opportunities are literally around the corner. I just feel like you might be hung up on your past and you're not really letting these beautiful things that are literally lingering around the corner come in for you because of something you can't let go of, okay? What is this overall energy here for Sagittarius universe? What do they need to know? So... Four of Wands energy and the devil. I feel like for a very, very, very long time, you felt that the person you were dealing with was going to ultimately be your soulmate. Ended up being the most toxic situation that you have ever dealt with, okay? I also feel, for a side note, if if any of you guys were left because of a third party, just keep in mind that that third party is not having that happily ever after. They're also going through some toxic energies because of this person. But nevertheless, you got something beautiful coming in. You just got to stop obsessing about your past or thinking about your past or wondering what your past person is doing here because I do feel like once you make that decision of letting it go forgiving possibly may never ever forget but you will forgive if you let it go you're gonna start making some big decisions to move towards something bigger and better I do feel like for a lot of you guys you're definitely stuck in a past situation that you have to let go in order to be able to move towards something new abundant and beautiful what is this overall energy here universe nine of Pentacles energy you're free okay free yourself you're free free yourself from any mental confliction free yourself from any agony free yourself from any past pain because you're the pre-empress here i feel like once you make the decision of letting go of people that don't serve a purpose for you you start seeing things around you in a different light you start seeing things balanced you start seeing forward movement you get to know new people, new opportunities come in that are highly and divinely guided for you. You're able to manifest new beginnings, even more money. You're able to start bringing in these manifestations out of nowhere. So it is time for you to let go of whatever has been holding you back from the past. And it's time to close that chapter in your life. Because truth be told, you have a lot of beautiful, abundant energy that wants to come in. It's just kind of stuck, stagnant because... Someone here hasn't made a decision to let the past go. What are the final messages here for Sagittarius? What is it that they need to know, universe? What are their final messages, please? Eight of Cups energy. As I've been saying, walk away from it. Walk away from what doesn't serve a purpose no more. Okay? This person that hurt you, this person that caused you headaches, that caused you so much heartache, walk away from that. Because the truth of the matter is you have a beautiful new beginning here. You've grown from that situation. You gave up on a situation that just did not serve a purpose for you. And you're this queen of wands energy now. You got all eyes on you. You need to take full advantage of this new energy that you have here. The more you hold on for the past, the more you think about the past, the harder it is for you to find something new for you to move on and for you to move forward. It is time to let it go. Four swords energy, put it to rest. Put it to rest. You walked away, they walked away, whatever the circumstances is, just let it go. It does not serve a purpose for you anymore. You're the one that is holding yourself back from bigger and better blessings. You're the one that's keeping yourself stuck. Okay. All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.